Elston, I stand here today totally proud and fulfilled as a dad. But as you're aware, there are many decisions that the most caring dads can't make for a son, no matter the depth of their love. I trust that you would make decisions with what I've instilled in you for all these years. Your choice of a life partner with Yanisha has made me realize that you're ready for your next chapter. Yanisha, we are blessed to have you as a daughter in an idol family. What makes me even more excited about the both of you is that you'll share so much common interest like travel, outdoors, and especially cooking. <laughs> Whenever Auntie Pat and I traveled to Cape Town, or Durban we were, or in Joburg, Yunisha, you gave us so much of love and respect and your amazing hospitality. This is much appreciated and we love you both. To Bear, Segri, and the entire Kupasami family, I would like to thank you for accepting Alston into your family and also Pat and I in your home with so much of love that you always do. I also like to congratulate you on raising such a beautiful young lady that I can today call my daughter. To the, to the, to the married couple, your marriage like all others will have its share of conflicts, frustration, boredom, unresolvable arguments, slam doors, and even nights when one person sleeps on the couch and the other on the bed. But I want you to bear in mind, what I want you to bear in mind is that we don't marry the person that we can live with. We marry the person that we can live without. We can't live without. So you have to let go quickly if you find yourself entangled in that situation. Always invest your time and energies in making each other happy making each other laugh when times are tough and making each other feel loved. Unconditional love will keep your souls very much intact and alive and will also be your safety net when you have an empty nest after your children leave. On behalf of Auntie Pat, the Naidu family and myself, I would like to extend the heartfelt congratulations and like to wish you both a long and happy married life together. God bless the both of you. Your choice in Elston has further proved that you have everyone's best interest at heart. To Inisha and Elston, I wish you a blessed marriage. May you always be happy together and achieve th uh, great things together. One of them being providing us with grandchildren soon. You are suited for each other. And then I just want to say a few more words, a bit of Nothing's advice. Clean, Marriage is not easy. You have to work on it every day. Nothing can be perfect, but learn to overcome obstacles that come your way. This only makes you stronger. To Yunisha, who always wants everything perfect, I'm going to quote the following. Have no fear of perfection. You will never reach it. There is nothing more rare. More, more beautiful than a woman being unapologetically herself, comfortable in her perfect imperfection. To me, that is the true essence of beauty. So on behalf of Bea, myself, Kershaw and Rajan, I want to thank you all for your presence here today and to our lovely couple, all the best on this new venture. Thank you. Thank you for being my amazing with you, person, you always say. find a way to put a smile on my face, either by uh, my side or coaching me, uh, giving me the yummy food. But we all know that not, not to get her on her bad side. I love you. I promise to look after you, my dear. You know, you're my best friend and you're my partner in crime. I, I look forward to coming home to you every day and having you to be there as my husband. I enjoy cooking with you and I enjoy when I, when I come home, everything is prepared and ready for me to make a meal. You help, you've been a helping hand during the time when you're dating 
and now you're going to be my husband, so I'm expecting a bit more now. <laughs> yeah, it's just on a different level. <laughs> and um, I just want to say that you, you pushed me to be the person that I am today. He's pushed me out of my comfort zone, and um, most of you would notice, especially my parents, that once I started dating Alston, I actually started changing who I am and realizing there's more to life than just being all fussed up and angry with the world. <laughs> I, I started enjoying life and I was a bit more laid back. I came out of my comfort zone and I'm no more reserved and shy and I live life to the fullest, but still being a perfectionist in between. <laughs> okay. I love you and I promise to look after you forever and to treat you the way you should be.